another little trick that uh, I like to do. We had these molded with uh, raised lettering, the high-low marks, but they're really hard to see. Um, you know, I'd hope that they came out better, but you know, you spend 20 grand on a mold, uh, that's all you're going to spend. So, what I found, a little trick here, is just take a, a wide-tipped marker and just lightly go over the lettering and then on that line and that'll highlight everything same way up here on the high mark Let's see if I can do this without messing up just lightly go over it and then go over your mark line there as well and voila Ta da takes about uh, 30 seconds or less. It will make it a lot easier to read once it's in the vehicle. All right. Don't be afraid to modify the brackets a little bit. We had to do that with this one. You can see that side. We don't have to do anything with this side. To get it to fit in where we want it to, I'm going to attach it with a little bracket to the back of this right here. I mean. There's no pressure there, so that is solid, it's fine, it's not going to hurt anything. But uh, So I just took a little Dremel and cut that. Now, you do want to be careful not to cut too far into here, because you don't want to um, breach the internal part of it. But these walls are pretty thick on this reservoir, so just keep with the, the line of the bracket there. Keep just a little bit to you know the outside of the bracket here give a little bit of room as long as you don't get close into here you're perfectly fine and you can see it's really thick I mean we made these the walls of this is twice as thick as anything else available online right now okay and that's still plenty rigid still gives us a uh, an extra area there to uh, attach it and then that way on this side we can get a real nice attachment to that and then I'll fabricate a little bracket here to connect into, uh, there's a little bolt here. And that'll give us a real nice little reservoir that uh, is tucked away nicely, easy to get to, easy to keep check of, and then still room for the uh, dry filter behind here. We try to provide, you know, everything that you need, but uh, occasionally you run into areas where you can't fabricate your own bracket or something. I mean, we can't we can't fabricate something for over 15,000 different kind of cars, makes and models. Uh, so we we include the brackets for the generator. Um, I found on this that I was going to need a little bracket for uh, from here. So you know, we keep in stock just this little 16th inch thick, uh, half inch wide strap from. I think Home Depot. We just keep keep this stuff in stock, and then uh, so this is going to basically this is just going to go right in here like that. It's hard to see, but and then uh, that'll bolt the reservoir up to it. And then this one I put together. Oh, that's wonderful! Right down in there, huh? Oh <laughs> uh, well. Oh, it got caught. That's good. Okay, so this one, this one is going to just uh, mount with a couple of self-tapping screws into this uh, firewall like this, and then that will hold the um, the air the dryer filter. It's very light. I mean, it's it just weighs ounces, and so I'll probably just use. Um, I'm not even going to use bolts. I'm just going to use some plastic ties better to have it a little bit loose than too tight so anyway uh, so those are just a couple of you can make these in your vice you know you make your own in this car 2008 Chevy simple took me a few minutes to make them and then I threw a little bit of black paint on them just so they look nice okay now mount them up you can see that just a simple little bracket and that'll hold the uh, reservoir. Let's see here. Uh, let me put this up. There we 
go. Simple. That'll hold it nice and solid. Okay. So we got uh, this bracket mounted. We just put in a couple of self-tapping screws there. Tuck it up nice and tight. That bracket is good and solid. That'll hold the uh, dryer filter. Then this is the bracket for the reservoir. And I may just uh, do a plastic wire tie around here, make it easy to remove, not put too much strain on this. Not that that moves or, I mean, it's well secured, but just for ease of installation. So as I've been doing this, I tuck the hose in and then have to run. Well, thing you have to be careful. You can see that uh, this hose got scuffed and it's because that shroud doesn't go all the way around. And uh, last night, it got caught. So I'm gonna have to cut that out and splice it and then run it up underneath here and, and wire tie it. So just a word of caution, make sure that your hoses are always run away from moving parts because you don't want leaks. All right, we're almost there. Before you mount this permanently, make sure you get all your hoses cut. We've got the we've got the bottom one cut right here with a clamp on it. We're getting ready to cut this one now. We have this one, let's see, this one cut with the clamps on it. That'll go right here. So before you mount your reservoir permanently, do it just a temporary, get it all set, get your hoses ready to go then remove it and connect all your hoses first then mount the reservoir it makes it way easier to uh, to you know that way you're not wrestling with it after you've already hooked it all up and connected it so we're almost ready here uh oh I hate this blade the self-locking blades that don't lock Yeah, I know, there's scissors and there's tube cutters. None of them work very well. As far as I'm concerned, probably this will face the right way. That'd be a lot easier to get to. Same way with that one down there. Same way with these here. Placing them so that they'll be easy to get to to tighten up after you put them on. Might as well make it easy for yourself. All right, so we've got that ready to go. Let's go ahead and pull this bolt out of here. And uh, this one we're not using, so that one we just leave it alone. I'm going to start with this one. Let's go ahead and put this on this side here. I think um, before I tighten them up, I'm going to slip them on. Okay. So you can see we've got we've got the uh, dryer filter mounted, just with with ties, homemade bracket here, just screwed into the firewall, comes, oopsie. so this from the reservoir comes out into the dry filter here and then from here it's going to go around and into the air intake of the vehicle, okay, so that's the last one we need to do, this is all put together. We have this bracket that we made, just kind of fastens onto an existing structure. Just a little uh, piece of metal from Home Depot. This side, I was going to make a bracket, but realized there's no reason for it. Just a little tie, I mean, it's not going anywhere. It's solid. Really, this is enough to hold it, but this is just there to help support it. And then we have the bottom hose going down to the bottom of the generator. We have the top hose coming back up. 